This is just a quick video to show how to use the McMaster Car website to download hardware files. The first thing you want to do, of course, is go to the website, which is just McMaster.com. And since we're going for screws, we're going to be going to the fasteners link. So this is their home page. And uh, apparently fasteners are something a lot of people go to their website for, so that's the first thing in the corner. So we'll just click on that. And of course we have an unwieldy number of different fasteners that we can choose from, so we need to know ahead of time what kind of fasteners we want. So let's just say for the sake of argument that we want a flathead screw and that we want to have a screw with metric threads and it will be, let's say, an M4 and 10 millimeters long. So we'll search through the pictures here and we can select flathead screws or if we go to the left I think we might be able to find that over here as well. So we have socket rounded and so on. And over here we have flat, so this should take us to the same link. Now we have to decide what type of drive recess we want. Some of you who are putting together your chairs might be using screws that have a hex recess. So you could use this link here. A lot of you are going to be using screws with a Phillips head recess. So we'll start with that one. And again, we still have lots and lots of choices here, but now we're actually getting down to the specific screws that we're looking for. So we're going to narrow it down on the left side as quickly as we can. So scrolling to the top on the left side, we want a metric screw. You see that immediately reduces the possibilities on the right. We want an M4. And let's just say we want a stainless screw. It doesn't really matter the material because we mainly just care about the shape of the screw for our files. So we'll just say stainless. And we now have on the right has been narrowed down quite a bit to the point where we can actually choose from this list on the right actual screws. And you see here the hyperlinks lead you to a specific screw with a McMaster car part number. That's still a lot to choose from. One thing I haven't selected yet is the length. I said 10 millimeters earlier, so I'll just, on the left side, select a 10 millimeter screw. We've already got the standard head. I guess there's two types of heads, a flat head and an oval head that looks like a flat head. But I think at this point it's been narrowed down. Well, here we have some oval head screws, so let's make sure that it knows we want only a flat head screw. So now we're really narrowed down. We have this metric 1818 stainless steel Phillips flathead screw. And it's only giving me two choices. Here we have a slightly different type of stainless steel. There's only one choice. And here we have JIS stainless steel. There's only one choice also. At this point, it doesn't matter too much which one we choose because, again, we care more about the shape of the screw than the actual material or the color. But I'm going to go with this top one here, it's an M4 by 0.7 millimeter thread. It's 10 millimeters long and if we go over to here we see the hyperlink for that actual screw so we'll click on that and we have here in the little corner it says product detail and it says CAD. So we want to click on that and here we get the details about the screw. It's got a 90 degree head angle it's an M4, the thread pitch is 0.7, length is 10 millimeters, just what we selected. And if we go down further, we get an actual drawing of the screw. But we don't really need to use this other than to confirm that we've got the right screw. And we go down a little farther. Oh, here it is. On the right side, it says 3D SolidWorks. We have a pull down here that for some reason popped down to the bottom. We have a pull down that lets us download this screw in different types of formats. SolidWorks is the one we want and that was the default that was set so we don't really need to use the pull down after all. And we just say save and that's saving the part to my computer. And if I double click on this so that it opens up SolidWorks, here we see what that screw file looks like. So it's got a nice accurate looking Phillips recess. It's a flathead, 10 millimeters long. I'll just mention that with flatheads, the length is measured from the end of the screw to the top of the flathead, whereas for panhead screws, it's measured underneath the head 
to the end of the thread. So if we look on the left side here, we see this was built up in a regular feature tree with a lot of different features. And this is a bunch of work that you've uh, avoided having to do yourself. Scrolling to the top, we see that it's got a somewhat cryptic description. So what you might want to do is resave this under a new name like screw M4 by 10 millimeter and so on, just so that you remember when you're looking through your files what that actually means. Let's just go back to the McMaster website for one moment. Let's just say we wanted a pan head screw instead. Actually, I guess it's probably better for me to go all the way back to the fasteners page. And if we want a pan head screw, it's under the category of rounded head screws. So we'll click on that. And here we have the different styles of round heads. So most of the time a rounded head screw is going to look like this one here. This is often called a pan head. I'll just click on that as an example. And here we see that it has in the description pan head. So if you have a screw that looks like this, look for the pan head screws. Also, if you're having trouble finding what you want, just go ahead and type it up here in the search. I'll just type in pan head screw. And that very quickly got me to the rounded head screws and then back to where we were before. That's all there is.